All right. Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, Elder Great Millstone. And shout out to you, brothers, doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Firstly, Yahweh's name, Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name, Ba and Ha the Sham name. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son, and Racha Kwadash means Holy Spirit. Literally translated spirit holy, Racha spirit, Kwadash holy. And um, don't know how, how I'm going to title this yet. Um, but man, the Lord got his servants. All right, the Lord got his servants. And, you know, those that believe in him, and that's really the, the bottom line. Now, granted, you know, we all come to the hour of temptation. So we have to have, you know, we got this type of spirit. Um, this is Daniel 3 and 16. Daniel 3 and 15. Now he be ready that at, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet. Yeah, I just get to the point here. This is good. Now he be ready. <coughs> That at what time you hear the cornet, uh, the sound of the cornet, salakia, the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbutt, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made well. But if you worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that power that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, and this is like in spiritually to what's coming, you know, it said they worshiped the beast and received his mark. <laughs> this is the same thing spiritually, you know. They were to bow down and worship and hear music, which no, nah, we serve you how about showing how the true living power, right? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego Answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Basically, we're not going to hold our tongue. We ain't going to sugarcoat it. We ain't going to pussyfoot around it, essentially. We're going to tell you straight up. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. And that's the spirit we in. Our power is a Esau finna come down with wrath. And he wants to lay his hands on, on us. He wants to kill us. And the Lord, you know, may allow him to get to certain um, to certain of us. All right? Or certain of our family. Now, through the spirit, I believe Great Millstone embodies the spirit of the Church of Philadelphia. So, you know, I believe, you know, starting with our apostles and elders and, you know, may the Lord bless you, keep his Holy Spirit in us and we endure I believe that, you know, these men are in a special case because what have our elders and apostles taught uh, uh, the heads of our camps, us, the men under us, the same spirit, which is to keep the Lord of the Lord's patience, man, to have that true, what Philadelphia mean, brotherly love. They never let up. They endure whatever came their way and taught us that same example, man, to keep pushing his words, keep, keep doing that labor of love. That's the brotherly love. All right. Now, there are other believers out there that's not part of Great Millstone. But in the day, the Lord is going to play out how he plays it out. There's, there's going to be some men, all right, there's going to be believers, like you said, that will deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace that will get delivered. And hey, how was I said it, man? Damn, no autocorrect. Well, all the times they autocorrect when I put what I actually want, they don't correct when I mess up. Fucking Esau technology. This is Luke 9, 27. But I tell you the truth, there are some of those who stand here who will in no way taste the death until they see God's kingdom. All right? 
So there's some men that won't taste death. You know? That won't taste death. All right? Man. And it, and it says into God's kingdom, and that's, you know, uh, the scripture is manifold. When you go to 1 Corinthians 15, it talks about um, Paul makes an analogy of a seed. When it grows into a plant, that seed itself dies, meaning that shell, that body dies to be transformed. It doesn't actually die. It becomes a different plant. Same thing with the elect. The being changed, all right, is, in, is a form of death. So it won't die until they see the, uh, the kingdom. Not physically die, but be changed. So there's men that won't actually die. All right. There's men that won't die when this shit happens, man. When all hell breaks loose. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. So they were confident, man. But the, here's the balance. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we would not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. That was the balance. Full confidence in the Lord and his ability to save. All right. But understand that hey, the will of the Lord is the will of the Lord. And you have a shy prayed. He said, is there another way? Take this cup away from me. All right. Because, hey, you, you could be the... Uh, any one of us can be allotted to be the, the brother that do get beheaded for truth's sake. And you know what? Through the spirit, may the Lord bless. We deal with it, man. Like right here, we still ain't going to worship your ass, Esau. Fuck you. And that's still, hey, it says the Lord, it's an easy thing for the Lord to reward a man dead his death. We saw the example with that with Stephen. Stoned to death, but was comforted in his death. And those who die, I will be the first ones on a chariot. You know, so be it. However, the Lord is going to, and this is the point of the lesson, the Lord is going to work miraculous deliverances in the time we're coming in, in the time we're in. And, and it's going to get even more miraculous. The more evil come, the more miracles come. All right? The more evils come, the more miracles will come. Because the Lord did not... Bring wake us wake his his uh, uh his people up to the truth to leave us in the hands of Esau so Esau can just get his way and wipe us out. No, this is not a hey, look. This is not seventy A.D. Man, we had to go through our judgment. Sure enough, man, we fucked up and we still we still here in it. All right, we still here in it, but the Lord. And he said, yet a little while. This Isaiah. A mm, little moment. This Isaiah 54. And eight, and a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Howard, thy Redeemer. So the Lord gave us to the hands of our enemies. You know, but that was for a moment. But he says, with uh, uh, everlasting kindness will he have mercy on thee. So Lord is, hey, he's going to show that mercy and that kindness, which is everlasting, by the way, it's immeasurable. Until Lord willing, you know, we the elect is going to show that unto us this time around. You know, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he delivered them out of them all. And what did it say? The Lord will not chide, uh, chide forever. This is Psalms 103. And, and 8. Yahweh is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. So we're not meant to just keep going through hell over and over and over. And that's that. No, at some point that's going to change. At some point the Lord is going to bring that deliverance. And that's what times we're coming in, man. And it said he's delivering a time of trouble.
What? Just put what I typed. That's a good one. This is Psalm 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength of every present help in trouble. As the scriptures say, it is a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So there is men that will be saved from their trouble, man. Man, this is Nahum 1 to 7. Why? It's starting to put the, this name in. That's new. Yahweh, not what they got there, man. Yahweh is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who take refuge in him. All right? So the Lord is going to deliver the men that trust in him, the men that take refuge, like it said, take refuge in him. All right, and what's that refuge? Proverbs 18.10. Yahweh's name, name is a strong child, but the righteous run to him and are safe. Also, I'm on a different version. All right, and, and that's that's plain. You know, having faith and trust in the name Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which that word name in the Hebrew is Sham, which of course does mean name, but also means reputation. So we have to trust in what? The Lord's word, man. Trust in what he's about, which is righteousness. All right? Really been into this thing, man. It pays off. <laughs> this is uh, 1 Timothy 6, 17. Charge them that are rich in this world. They be not high-minded, nor trust the uncertain riches. But of the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up. So doing the work, you know, having that brotherly love, that labor of love, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. So doing this work is basically us. Like it says, storing up a good foundation against the time to come. All right. We, we're um, dealing now so we don't have to suffer so we can have a protection. You know, strive for truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. So we can be delivered so the Lord can be our defender in the times to come. You kept the word of my patience. I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. There's a true reward in, in, in doing this labor out of a sincere and loving heart, man. All right. Loving how about Shemi Hawashai, the doctrine and the brotherhood. It all goes hand in hand. OK. There's a reward for that, man. This is Hebrew, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So, believing in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is a must, but we also must believe in the reward. The, hey, I, the Heavenly Father is not a man, he should lie. The Lord said it, it shall be done. The Lord did not wake us up to this truth to, you know, to leave his nation hanging. Now, I read the day to put the balance to it. We have examples like Stephen. We have the example of, 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 of uh, Yahweh Shai, of course. And we have the example of Jeremiah, who got delivered. But he still was tossed in a pit. We have the example of Daniel, who got delivered, but he still was tossed in that fire. Point is, the Lord is going to deliver us, man. 
Yahweh Shai got delivered from death. <laughs> he got, he was killed, man, murdered brutally, but was delivered from death. Nothing can stop us, man. The, hey, if the Lord be with us, who, who can be against us, man? Death can't even, can't even touch us, man. That's heavy. I ain't, I ain't never thought about it like that, man. It's Isaiah 66. I get to the point in verse 9. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, saith thy power? The Lord ain't, ain't give us this. Give us how we try to be a sacrifice for us so we can be delivered from the curse. Have him loose the seals of the book. Give us this understanding to just let, to leave us in fucking hell. No. Yahweh Shai is our deliverer. So when all hell breaks loose, it's going to be some crazy fucking shit out here, man. That's why we deal now so we don't be judged with the world as it says in Corinthians, man. So, Lord willing, we can be the first fruits to get that new body. You know? To be changed in that twinkling of an eye. Because there is reward, man. But that's why we labor now so we don't have to get judged the world. All right? We endure now so we don't have to go through all the shit that's going to come. Because the day of the Lord is a day of darkness. It is not light. But the Lord said he got his servants. This is Job 5. I'm a, you know what? I'm going to start that verse. I'm going to start up some because it really goes into, man. Uh, uh, uh. Job 5 and 8. I was seeking to the Most High, and unto the Most High will I commit my cause, which doeth great things and unsearchable, Marvelous things without number, who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields to set up on high those that be low. And what you have I say, our, our Lord, man, uh, he that is first shall be last and last shall be first. The low is going to be set on high that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. We're crying out. We crying out against the wickedness, the abominations done here in this in this earth. The afflictions we, we're, we're in and under, man. And more affliction is coming to the earth. More wrath is coming down from Esau, Edom, man. More plagues from the Lord. So we're mourning. We're moved with fear like Noah. Calling on Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Whoever trusted in the Lord and was confounded, man. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands could not perform their enterprise. Esau ain't going to get to complete his fucking mission, man. It ain't going to happen. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. You're gonna Esau's gonna fall into he's falling into his own ditch. All right. He's destroying himself. He's gonna set up the digital currency. And then to do so, he gotta destroy his own damn dollars. <laughs> Which comes with what is saying James 5 it shall burn his flesh as with fire. War is coming. Esau was toast. The nations, let them that bend the bow aim it towards Babylon. They finna fuck this place up. He ain't going to have too much time to worry about us. He gonna, hey, what to say I remove the northern army from thee? He going to have to go fight for his fucking life and lose. These nations finna be on your ass, Esau. You worried about the wrong shit, nigga? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lock you. Um, they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in a new day as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, 
from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. And Esau been trying to set up uh, all type of shit against us, you know. And one of the heaviest things to me, man, the Lord so cold, it was televised. You know, I did a lesson on it recently again because we already did a lesson on this, multiple lessons. But just through the spirit, the Lord really, he shows he got us. FBI went, came out with, um, um, what is it? Uh, identity extremists. I'm trying to remember if that was what was first. They changed the wording. But nevertheless, what it boils down to, they made the list of identity extremists. And of course, they put, now they put black Israelites, Hebrew Israelites on that, which we are not. We're, we are not black. All right. We are simply the Hebrew Israelites. There's no other group that call themselves Hebrew Israelites on the earth. We are the only group. And we're not black. You have so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. And on top of that, we've been scattered, James 1 and 1, to the four corners of the earth. The 12 tribes scattered abroad, greeting who this book is written to. So you have Israelites that look like white people, so-called white people who really read, the self-proclaimed white. You're not white, you're red. You're not pure. We have Israelites that look like uh, uh, Japheth, which are the, like Pacific Islanders. We have Israelites that um, um, look like Moabites, Ammonites, Chinese, Japanese, that look like Hamites, actual Africans. Look like Ishmaelites, which is a certain of the Arabs. You know, etc. Because we've been scattered. But the main delivery is happening here in Babylon. You know. And over here, and how Genesis 49 breaks down who we are. We are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Alright? So-called Negroes been a tribe of Judah. So-called Puerto Ricans been a tribe of Ephraim. Asher been a, been a so-called, you know, uh, yeah, being so-called Brazilians, etc. Alright? This is who we are. Hebrew Israelites. But back to the point. You know, um, Representative Bass. Multiple times, you know, once, oh, actually probably more than once, was with Sessions of the FBI. Then there was another hit of the FBI. Was brought before... Uh, the house. Yeah, yeah, Representative Bass. Yep, that was brought before the house, and you know they was basically a trial, and Israelites came up. Israelites came up. So first off, they end, the first time she got their ass, they end up changing the um. They they end up changing language because like what black identity extremists? There's no. Black identity extremists out here committing any crimes, etc. What about white identity extremists? Are they on this list? Basically, like, why is it like you're only targeting black people? And then they mentioned the Israelites. Second time around, or another different time, because it happened a couple times. It came back up, and they mentioned the attack that happened in the Northeast. That happened a few years ago. And they was trying to say the guy was a black Israelite. And she went in and she said, look, we don't even know if that guy really is associated with them. Because anybody can fucking Google something or look into something, agree with a few points, or read a, a, a quote posted on their social media. Like, that's a good quote. Or they made a good point. I do not agree with most of the stuff Tommy Sotomayor say. But sometimes he be saying some real shit. I may post a clip from Tommy Sotomayor. That don't mean I'm associated with that nigga. You know, but she said, we don't know. He's not really, you know, basically, we don't know if he's associated with them. So she down, she threw that bullshit out the window because they know what we about. And she said, just that say, we I'm very familiar with the with the Israelites. They are, they are a very open and transparent group because we do everything in the public. She said, in fact, she said they may be loud, but they're a very open group. We don't have what we about. And she did that, and this is televised. 
Esau was making his laws. You know, he tried to uh, frame mischief by the law, like the scriptures say. And she put, she stopped him dead in his tracks. Through the spirit of Pahia Bashmi Shai. But he saved with the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. They, they, they started with their mouth. Through his policy, he caused craft to prosper. So first they gotta they gotta speak these things, man. Make so they can make themselves as the angel of light. So they can make themselves that they really about law and justice. But the spirit stopped that. I believe the spirit of the Lord did that to fulfill, you know, and part this part of this prophecy right here. And that's and that's the beginning. Because it's about to be even crazier things happening. Let's see what else the Lord say. So the poor hath hope. Hey, the Lord, hey man, I, man, look, I'm even, I read that part. I'm even more convinced that that was a miracle, a faith booster for us, man. Represented to Bass. A nigga woman. Hey, when a man way pleases, pleases the Lord, he makes his enemies be at peace with him. And she was right. We do be out there loud. But we are a very open group. We don't hide what's coming. We make it clear we don't take vengeance in our own hands. Yeah, you you devils are going to slavery. You devils will feel the wrath of the sword. Hey, that's what the Lord's doing. Hey, you're gonna get hit with nukes. <laughs> we're not finna we're not finna set off no nukes. We don't have missiles. We tell you who's gonna bomb your ass. Russia, Iran, even hey, even your allies. In the EU. <laughs> so you you can't, hey, look, you can't blame us for that, nigga. You're through, Esau. Behold, uh, Slocky, so the poor had hope, and iniquity stopped with her mouth. You're going to be stopped in your tracks. Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High corrected. Therefore, despise not the chastening of the Almighty. You know, hey, Baruch, we was not sold into the nations for our destruction, but we, you know, we moved the Lord to wrath. So we got chastised the nation. Second Maccabees, the sixth chapter. This is our correction. So we don't have to get punished with the world, man. They about to get it. You got to think about it. What we went through is the craziest thing on earth that ever happened. Like it says no other nation went through nothing like we went through in Daniel, the ninth chapter. The heat is about to get it worse than us. The Lord been letting they tab build. Man, this is going to be, I don't know, they finna get some shit. <laughs> For he making sore and bindeth up. We've been sore. Now we've been bound. How we been bound? By the word. You know, let me, let me grab a precept to prove that. This is wisdom of Solomon. Two L's. Wisdom Solomon sixteen twelve. For it is it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but they were, O Lord, which healeth all things. So we're being healed through this word, right? For he maketh sore and bindeth up; he woundeth, and his hands make whole. The Lord is not giving us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. The spirit is making us whole again. And it starts with us waking up to who we are. And then it's going to transition to us actually getting incorruptible bodies, man. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. So we're going to go through our troubles. Many, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he delivered thee out of them all. We went through Egypt. We went through Babylon. We went through... Media, Persia. We went through Greece, Rome. All right. Hey, we went through Assyria. And here we are now, man. We made it through it all. Afflicted, but the Lord, you know, take the foot off, take the heathen's foot off our neck for a moment, give us some relief, even in the time of the Greeks. Rome came, we got jacked all the way up. But we still made it out. 
right? But check it. And seven troubles, right? Which seven means completion. Yeah, and seven, there shall no evil touch thee. No evil touch thee, man. And famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword, thou shall be here from the scorch. Uh, here we go again. Thou shall be here from the scorch of the tongue. The slanders, the lies, the policies. They tried, and the Lord delivered us from it. He's all gonna have to come down in great wrath and show he's a piece of shit, man. And even then, he won't be able to, he won't really get to do shit. The Lord got us. Esau may get a, you know, get, get some. But the Lord got us. And those who he get will be the first ones in the chariot. But the Lord got us. That's just to put the balance on it. Because the Lord got us. Thou shalt be here from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be a peace of thee. A hey, spiritual powers, man. Been able to manipulate the elements, having dominion over the beast again, being fed in the time of famine, being kept from the time of destruction. The Lord got his servants, man. All right? Man, this is um Second Esdras. Oh, uh, commercial. Yeah, thank you. This is Second Esdras. Now you know what? Second so Andrews 2 and 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Plain. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaven is cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The Lord got miracles in store for his prophets. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. Nothing. Esau, ain't, the Lord God is this time. This is not 70 AD. Because you kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. It must be fulfilled. This must be fulfilled. You know? Again, Daniel 3 is the balance. The Lord is going to deliver us. And say we and say somebody's meant to be a martyr. That's okay. We still ain't going to serve Esau. We still ain't going to worship Esau. Through the spirit and power you have by Shemmy Howard Shai. But this must be fulfilled. There has to be men protected and kept from all this trouble. And, and, and women as well, you know, I'm going to say it because there's women allotted to be Isaiah 401. To get that man's name put on him. What does it say in Proverbs? You should have enough, you should have goat's milk, you know, which is more precious than the fucking cow milk, right? But you should have goat's milk enough for uh, uh, thy maidens, man. So the Lord going to be looking out for his elect and our women. Mark 
My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. So the Lord got his servants. I can't tell you the numbers. I can't tell you how many people, uh, uh, Israelites will be beheaded. You know, I got my belief on that through the spirit. And like I mentioned with the Church of Philadelphia having a special blessing put on them. And I believe, you know, starting with our apostles and elders, that's the spirit of the Church of Philadelphia resides, starting with our apostles and elders on down. I know the Lord got us. And that's scripture. The Lord got us. Um, yeah, I ended on, no, nah, I ain't ended on this. I'm tweaking. I got to get that, uh, I'm getting that song for get. This is second address nine. 13. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. So, you know, the scriptures say we hereby knowing the terror, Lord, we persuade men. So we mention of the doom and gloom that's to come. But what's more intriguing and interesting and well, what we should be focused on is, like it says right here, inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Because we know parts of the hell that's to come. So just with the base knowledge we have of the, the calamities to come. Think about how the elect is going to be saved from all of that. Because at the end of the day, the Lord is coming to save his nation. He's so not going to wipe us all out. The scripture says it's going to be a remnant. Who is that remnant? The remnant ain't going to be two thirds. The remnant are going to be believers, laborers. As the, the second chapter said, it's servants. So I require my number, that number. So look, the Lord got his servants, man. I don't know the numbers. Lord knows the numbers. You know, the Lord knows the numbers. But the remnant shall be saved, man. Psalm 91. I get to the point. Ooh. Point starting at verse one. That is the point. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in whom will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. So from, from the traps of Esau and uh the nukes. Which is, so basically the Lord got us from evil. He shall cover thee with his feathers under his wings. Thou shalt trust, which ultimately is the chariots. You know, when that blast destruction come, those nukes come. Hey, uh, the elect gets that chariot right out of here, man. Come up hither. May Lord bless. That's us. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So it starts with us having his truth, us taking refuge in the Lord. All right. Thou should not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. So the day of darkness, the things that come, like it says, the day of the Lord's day of darkness, as a man here uh, ran from a, a lion. All right, then a bear met him. He ran from a bear, got in the house, then a snake bit him. That's darkness. Nor the arrow that flies by day, nor, nor the nukes. All right. All right. 
the the um the modern regular bow and arrow, you know, the guns, all this violence, the Lord got his servants. You know, because the flesh, you know, we, we think about these things like, damn, this shit is coming. You know, some brothers live in the hood. Some brothers live in this place, that place, food, deserts, all type of shit. And it's really like the flesh be like, damn, well, I'm gonna have, I guess I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do that. Really, the Lord got us. Just inqu inquire about it. Meditate about the different ways the Lord can, can save us. <laughs> Ask about that. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. That's something, you know, Lord, what I can implement, you know, praying to the Lord on just, uh, just me inquiring about it. How he going to deliver, you know, hopefully we elect, you know, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Plain, you know, there's going to be a lot of death around the elect. But the elect is only going to see these things, man. It won't touch us. Lord willing, us, I really hope. We the, we the men of the Lord, man. Hope I'm included in that. Because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Man, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Call all me, how about Sham Yahweh Shai. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hey, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and Southeast Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Shalom Wa Baba Ball.